The small town of Roll is situated between Nyon and Lausanne on Lake Geneva. An idyllic place where many international companies have decided to move their European headquarters, like Nissan, Yahoo and Chiquita. Michel Loeb, head of Chiquita Europe, admits his company didn't move here to enjoy the view. We moved here for tax reasons, but there were other elements which determined our choice of Switzerland. The leading banana distributor employs 80 people in Roll. They take care of marketing, bookkeeping, legal issues and product development. Previously, they did the same work in Antwerp in Belgium. The transport and distribution is still based there. Chiquita makes a turnover of about $1.5 billion in Europe with bananas and other fresh produce. And in good years, their profit totals a few million. Since Chiquita moved to Switzerland, it pays much less in corporate taxes. How much are you saving? It's confidential. This is the kind of information we're not sharing during an interview. In Belgium, companies like Chiquita pay about 23% taxes on their profits. In Switzerland, corporate taxes come down to 2.5%, almost 10 times less than in Belgium. No wonder the city authorities in Antwerp were angry when Chiquita decided to move away. We can't compete with 2.5%. And I don't know if it's a good thing trying to keep up in this undercutting spiral. One shouldn't put one's land on sale, but compete fairly with other countries. The European Union has repeatedly expressed its opposition to tax reductions. Some. Uh element of, of, of the taxation system in Switzerland concerning the taxation of, of corporates, of companies, which is, according to our judgment, not exactly in line, in harmony with the, with the principles of the European Union. Switzerland always fought back fiercely to keep its autonomy in tax questions. There's nothing to negotiate. The European Union has nothing to look for in our taxation system. We also don't poke our noses inside the tax systems of our neighbour countries. But eventually, some compromise had to be found. Switzerland offered to erase discounts it granted to mailbox firms and to check more closely on holding companies. The EU was still not satisfied. And recently, its new tax commissioner has become more specific about hunting down harmful tax practices. The first idea is to discuss uh, with Switzerland possibility to, to subscribe for the principles uh, and uh, then, of course, to, to look uh, uh, at, the, at the systems, uh, taxation systems, uh, system in, in Switzerland uh, and uh, 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 see whether there are such uh, harmful practices. Even in Switzerland, there are those who are gradually realising that keeping too many privileges for foreign companies won't be possible forever. The director of the Federation of Swiss-based multinational enterprises thinks Swiss politicians should be more actively campaigning for a new taxation deal with Europe. Man wird sicher auf längere Frist in the long run, it will be impossible to defend the fact that foreign companies are paying less corporate taxes than Swiss companies. We'll have to make concessions on this point. For the moment, though, construction work in the idyllic destination for multinational companies is booming. Roll is making place for foreign managers and their families who have relocated here. Brussels and the taxation storms constantly brewing there still seem far away, at least for the moment. <laughs>